briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. A specter of litigation hung over retired basketball superstar Michael Jordan and WorldCom Inc. in a captivating legal dispute. This ordeal was triggered by unpaid compensation amounting to $8 million that stood out in the spotlight, a figure he received from MCI, a company later consumed by WorldCom, to enthusiastically endorse their products and services. The wrangle intensified as WorldCom argued for a hefty cut on the amount, alleging Jordan's failure to mitigate damages. After WorldCom went belly up, they pulled the rug out from under Jordan by pulling the plug on the endorsement deal triggering the lawsuit. Questions emerged as to where Jordan should fall under the legal categorization, as an independent contractor or an employee. His argument leaned towards acting as an independent contractor, while the defense, on shaky grounds, aimed to label Jordan an employee under Section 502 B. 7 of the Bankruptcy Code. The court chimed in with a decision, leaning in favor of his heirness. They granted summary judgment to Jordan, and thwarted MCI's counterclaim by ruling that the employee section of the bankruptcy code was not applicable under the endorsement agreement. This ruling was met with much relief from Jordan's camp. But despite his victory, the court mandated Jordan to mitigate damages, dismissing his contention that he would tarnish his reputation by signing another endorsement deal. This pursuit was, however, hindered as the court learned that Jordan failed to be declared a lost volume seller of endorsement services essentially shattering his chances of another lucrative endorsement deal. This meant that the defendant required proof of Jordan's effort to evade or minimize damages, as dictated by the doctrine of avoidable consequences. This twist spurred the court to pronounce that an evidentiary hearing was called for to assess the reduction in Jordan's claim if reasonable efforts to mitigate had been observed. WorldCom's insistence that Jordan could have easily amassed $2 million from another endorsement deal was met with skepticism from the court, citing a lack of evidentiary backup. In the interim, both Jordan's and WorldCom's motions for summary judgment were granted and denied in part. Mired in this maelstrom, the saga of Jordan vs. WorldCom presented a complex, captivating test of legal boundaries and the teetering balance of reputation and endorsement. The ultimate outcome came down to establishing the nuances between being an independent contractor as opposed to an employee and the stringent inspection of dues owed to a celebrity of Jordan's stature. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.